Hello, my name is Greg Jew with Keysight Technologies. I'm a system engineer working on Keysight's 6G testbed. So a question we often get asked is, how far can you really transmit a sub signal, especially one in the 220 to 330 gigahertz frequency range? So today we're gonna to show Keysight's 6G testbed being used to transmit a signal centered at 285 gigahertz with 30 gigahertz of bandwidth and we're gonna transmit that over the air across the room, 26 and a half feet or roughly eight meters. So the test setup consists of Signal Studio Pro for custom modulation. We're gonna use this to generate a single carrier waveform with a symbol rate of 25 gigasymbol per second. It's a frame structure, a custom frame structure with a data payload, preamble and pilots. So this generates a file, and then that file is then read into Keysight's Pathwave Advanced Waveform Utility, or AWU. This will read in the file and download it to the M8199A AWG. So we've downloaded the file, the waveform, to the M8199A AWG. Now this is a four channel AWG with a sample rate of 128 gigasample per second. So we're using it to generate an IF signal centered at 25 gigahertz. The IF is fed into a Virginia Diodes Incorporated or VDI upconverter. And this is a WR 3.4 upconverter covering the frequency range of 220 to 330 gigahertz. We're using a PSG to provide the LO. So the LO again is routed into the VDI upconverter where it's multiplied by a factor of 12. The upconverted signal is centered at 285 gigahertz, and then we pass it through a 270 gigahertz high pass filter from VDI. This is a VDI amplifier, and then we use a diagonal horn antenna to transmit the signal over the air. And here we're using a lens to collimate the beam. So what we've done is we've taken a commercial off the shelf lens assembly. We've removed the lens. We've designed a custom track fixture where we can slide the lens back and forth and adjust the spacing between the upconverter and the lens. The lens is only spec to 220 gigahertz, but here we're using it at 285 gigahertz. So the beam is collimated, it's transmitted to the other side of the room, 26 and a half feet away, or eight meters. So now let's take a look at the receive side. So now we move to the receive side of the test setup. We have our receive lens picking up the collimated beam from the transmit side. Then we have a diagonal horn antenna to pick up the signal to feed it into the VDI down converter. The VDI down converter is being used to down convert the signal to an IF of 25 gigahertz, where it's amplified by an external IF amplifier and then fed into our flagship UXR. This UXR is a four channel UXR sampling at 256 gigasample per second with a bandwidth of 110 gigahertz. So we're using it to digitize the 25 gigahertz IF. Now once the IF has been digitized, we're demodulating the signal using our vector signal analysis software. And here we're using a new capability in the VSA software called FlexFrame. And what FlexFrame allows customers to do is to use pilot and preamble aided demodulation for more robust synchronization and channel estimation in low SNR environments, such as this. We can see the spectrum centered at 285 gigahertz the blue shaded region is an occupied bandwidth measurement uh, showing an occupied bandwidth of 30 gigahertz. We can also see the 16 QAM constellation. Now, if you recall on the transmit side, we talked about the signal that was being created. It had a symbol rate of 25 gigasymbol per second. And so for a 16 QAM signal, that's four bits per symbol that are being transmitted. So that equates to 100 gigabit per second data throughput across this link. Realistically, the actual data throughput's a little bit lower if we just count the data bits in the data payload. Now to show this as a live demo, I'd like to introduce my colleague, Peter Sohn. And I'm gonna ask Peter to insert a reflector into the beam. We can see that when Peter does that, the spectrum has disappeared as well as constellation. Go ahead and remove it, Peter. And now the spectrum has reappeared as well as the constellation. And let's just try that one more time. And again, the spectrum has disappeared as well as the constellation. So I hope you found this demo interesting and informative. For more information, please contact Keysight Technologies. Thank you for your time today.